Before we move on, be sure to subscribe and with notifications on so you don't miss any of our videos. Hi guys, welcome back in today's episode. Okay, light up the pesto. Okay, we just put we just put the uh, cooking oil. Let the uh, pot will uh, heat up. And then in order for me to put my recipes, okay, and uh, of course we'll put our garlic. We will put our tomato on it. We'll put some. Where, where it is? We'll put some ginger, okay, and some few uh, chili to add spice in our preparation. Well, of course, I already cut the onions into pieces. I already sliced it and diced it, okay. So that already prepared my cauliflower. It's already washed and it is flavored with uh, black pepper some um, salt and ajinomoto on it already uh, flavored it and of course we have the uh, chicken legs that I just um, cut into pieces and uh, already uh, already uh, put flavoring on it to have the taste so I don't need to put salt or ajinomoto again and again so my way of my way of cooking is I will prepare the meat put the salt the ajinomoto or the black pepper on it and let these spices to be absorbed by the uh, meat Let's reduce our heat so that I will not overcook the uh, garlic. Alright. So my cooking preparation, I, I, I always put my uh, stove uh, heat in a low fire, low heat. So I want to cook the ingredients slowly. Okay, I don't need to rust. So it can came out it, it, the, the flavor of the uh, what you call this the uh, garlic will be um, we will come out from slow fire cooking and once the aroma of it the smell of it the taste of it is already dissolved into this preparation and way of cooking and it will go into the meat of the chicken and it will have a good taste when you bite it and at the same time I will cook my uh, cauliflower in two minutes maybe I will uh, simmer it along with this uh, preparation once the chicken meat is already tender and about to be mixed with vegetable about my uh, garlic when it is about brown a little bit brown now okay it's not overcooked it will cook slowly then I will put my tomato on it okay here is the tomato there you are so it will cook along with my garlic okay the flavor that is coming from the garlic it is now mixing with my tomato while my tomato I will have it I, I would like my tomato well done you know to come out the juice of it because the purpose of it is that the juice coming out from these ingredients will uh, stick to the uh, meat of my chicken it will be there when I I heat the uh, chicken with these ingredients it will, it will be uh, coming it will be injected to the meat of the chicken that makes the chicken more uh, tasty and 
mouth watering. So I don't know the name of this uh, menu that I am preparing, but I know the common uh, ingredients. That I know from my my experience, it will come out to be a, a good taste. I don't have a name for it, but I can say it's a combination of um, uh, ginger, uh, garlic, tomato, onion, and uh, of course the chili that will carry the flavor. Maybe uh, around five, six pieces of this now. So let me move my camera and put it there. So you can have a look on how I cook my tomato with the garlic on it. So it, it must be uh, uh, well done before you have to put your uh, onion on it. So this is these are the onions that I dice. Okay, I'll put it there. I put all the onions. All right. Now, let's move our camera near to my cooking pot so you can see how it is. My chicken. The chicken, by the way, it is already prepared. And put it on the top of the ingredients. Let it sit on the top of it so that slowly the onion will be cooked gradually so it will uh, cook slowly and it will drain all the juices from the chicken meat while the ingredients that we mix together in a slow fire it will uh, bring a good aromatic flavoring in the meat of the chicken. The process is slow so you must be patient on your food preparation. No need to rush on it. Okay, You don't even need to put some water on it. Okay, It will melt down the juice, the other liquid, natural liquid of the chicken will be melting down from this pot we cover it, okay, um, with the slow fire cooking, it will melt down the juices of this chicken. While melting it down, the aromatic flavoring of the onion, the tomato, the garlic will be inserted gradually to the fiber tissue of the chicken meat. Once it happens, the result of it somehow satisfying and it will increase your appetite to buy your food with your white rice and enjoy your dinner so this is the purpose of this uh, short video on how to prepare I'm not a cook by the way I'm not a chef but by experience I, I, I am able to uh, uh, apply and I can calculate the, uh, the effect of the ingredients to my food preparation that it will enhance flavoring it will enhance the taste of chicken even what type of uh, meat you will be preparing if you will prepare your food preparation this way I can absolutely uh, guarantee that the food preparation that you are making and the taste of it after cooking will be satisfactory and it's a mouth watering taste and you will feel a little bit more hungry because there are mixtures of many things in on it like the taste of and the bite of the uh, chili green chili and the, the soothing taste of the ginger on it we will now put the ginger okay by the way the covering of this it, it, it serves uh, steaming the um, meat with 
ingredients, steaming it and naturally uh, bringing out the juices of the chicken meat out from the flesh of the chicken. And while the aromatic flavoring is circulating inside this closed pot, it is now finding its way where to escape the aromatic smell of the flavoring. Since it is covered, it, it will not evaporate, so it will come directly to the meat and tissue of the chicken. It will mix all this natural flavoring and sabering the cooking process slowly with low fire and later on it will have a good taste that you don't need to put more ingredients on it because you already prepare and mix it together with all your preparations and all you need to do is to wait until the meat of the chicken will be tender and to add the other spices like uh, the ginger and the chili about six or uh, about five or six pieces of it and then the final toppings will be your cauliflower cauliflower you will set it up for nearly one minute or two minutes and then you uh, off your gas stoves and voila you have a very beautiful uh, mouth-watering very tasty food preparation of cauliflower cooked in uh, chicken legs with the flavorings that I mentioned here in my cooking process. I don't know the name of it but surely and it is guaranteed it's a good taste. Now let's open this uh, pot now. Oh, it's well done now. I can say that the, 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 uh, the uh, color of the chicken had changed already into this texture and complexion and you can notice the ingredients on it the tomato had melted the uh, onion had already surrendered to the flavor of the tomato and garlic so in this way we need to add up our uh, ginger so hang on guys I will up, add up the ginger. Here is the ginger. I will add up the ginger. Okay. There you are. The ginger is uh, added already to our cooking. Okay. Now, we need to cover it again for another one minute. So, pretty sure right now, the flavoring, the aromatic smell, that melting from the ginger will be mixed to the tissue of the chicken meat that will add up a good spice and mouth-watering bite on your white rice. I believe one minute is over, so you need to open it up, okay? And you need to mix this together. And putting the ingredients mixed up together already so that the ginger will go below the other ingredients for this okay now We have to cover it again for another one minute. Then we will prepare our six pieces. There you guys. So I'll count it for you. This is four. Alright. And this is five. Okay. And you have the winner, the number six. Alright. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You need to cut this with your scissor, your kitchen scissor, okay? Now, wait for a few minutes more to complete the one minute process in our cooking method while preparing this food, okay guys? So, 
you will enjoy cooking if you are into it because first of all it will uh, meet the taste bud in your tongue how you like your food because you prepare the way the ingredients are mixed together I can assure you guys ladies and gentlemen my uh, my fans and by the way this is Mr. Lab Channel TV covering a black in this episode for the vegetable that we purchased today and make the food preparation and I show you the methods and how to prepare this food it is an easy uh, method and preparation in the description I will put the step-by-step -step menu how you prepare it so you can duplicate it and you can taste it by yourself and how good it is now I think the one minute is over let's open up I want to show to you the flavoring yes the flavoring aroma that I can smell while cooking it and how it, it is looking how it is in the cooking pot you see the ginger has been melted already and as you can see there is the juice that came out from the meat of the chicken and you don't need to put water or liquid on it or any other seasoning as simple as that preparation it will serve the purpose of bringing out a very tasty um, a chicken cooked with your vegetable cauliflower so let's cut our chili now to add a little bit spice on it okay so let me cut it by twos okay so, this cut already and another two okay to make it four one you can add more chili depends on the level of taste of hotness the hot bite in your food preparation so it it's always depends on your taste on the chili there you are you have your chili in place with your uh, chicken meat and as you see the uh, flavoring had melted already the uh, flavoring of tomato the onion the garlic the ginger everything is now I believe uh, injected to the uh, meat tissue of the chicken so without any further ado okay let's wait a couple few few, few seconds could be uh, 40 seconds more just to have a uh, cooking effect on the chili that we have just put to this food preparations now this is your cauliflower okay uh, cut into these sizes all right and we will put it here and wait at least one or two minutes then off the fire and it is ready for serving so we don't like uh, to cook our cauliflower uh, well done we, we want to cook it rare so we can taste the, the uh, sweetness and the freshness of the cauliflower in your food preparations so we want to have the crisps when you bite your vegetable cauliflower with your food uh, preparations in this chicken mix uh, food uh, method that I prepare for you maybe I can call this Mr. Dub channel TV menu chicken menu with cauliflower why not there is no name on it I am the cook I am the inventor and I am the uh, guy who mix all the ingredients all together to come up with this taste and believe me I can say you will come back with me in my comment back in YouTube and you will be you will testify 
that my good technique preparation for this cauliflower is satisfactory, that will serve the taste of your taste bud, eating it with your white rice combination. So that's often our pot, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, mix it up a little bit. All right, I want to show to you here the sauce that came out from the meat of the chicken itself. Okay, I want to show this to you how the sauce how the uh, things melted in this pot while preparing it in a very low fire and as you see it came out to have some sauce but we did not put any like liquid uh, sauce on it the tomato had melted the uh, uh, juice from the uh, chicken meat had melted and it came out to have like a watery uh, flavoring or sauce flavoring on this food preparation. Now we are ready to put our cauliflower. Estimate the time to two minutes. So clock me in, ladies and gentlemen. We need to get over this in two minutes. We will again Flip up the other side of it, okay? Flip up the other side of it. In order to mix the flavoring, the juice from the chicken meat and from the ingredient itself so that it will mix to your cauliflower, okay? close it okay. and give itself another one minute okay increase the volume of it now so that it will make it will simmer a little bit faster now and to cook the uh, meat of the uh, uh, cauliflower rapidly so that you can uh, finish the cooking process now it is having a so you need to mix it well alright mix it very well cooking it nicely but not to overcook so you have the crispy bite on the vegetable and the juicy part of it is when you are eating it a little bit like uh, crunchy and not overcooked so you have to cook it rare and I think we need to again flip up the other side of it so that you will not overcook your vegetable okay stay true up a little bit on it in order to distribute the flavoring sauce of this uh, oh it's a very wonderful you know it's a very mouth watering now and I can savor the flavor of it while mixing it together so the flavoring of the sauce itself will go to the uh, uh, cauliflower itself it will inject to the meat of the cauliflower okay it's about over in one minute now time okay close it to wrap it up we have onion we have garlic we have tomato we have ginger we have the uh, uh, green uh, chili and uh, I will prepare the preparations in my description so you can follow this step by step below and I hope you enjoy watching this uh, 
short lag and it's an extension lag on our episode today. So thank you very much for watching. Until next time, God bless you all. Goodbye.